Good morning, PHS. It's September 15, 2016. I'm Matt Reisner. And I'm Devin Gritton. We saw, we conquered, and we're here to tell you all about and in upcoming news. So stay tuned. <laughs> team meetings for the day. And today's meetings are Bridge Bus in room 218, Newspaper in room 120, Heart Club in room 107, and Key Club in the library. After school, there will be a robotics meeting in room 141 from 3.30 to 5.30. Today we have a great opportunity for you. In College and Career Resource Center, right now there's a representative from Grace College that is here to talk to the students that are interested in finding out more about their college as, that they have to offer to you. Tomorrow, they will have a representative from Bethel College in the center, so make sure you head on down either today or tomorrow if you're interested in finding out more information about these two colleges. Oh yeah, and in case you didn't know, the College and Careers Resource Center is located in WSY Orange Room. The Girls and Code Club is in its third year at PCSC. Organized our site to provide an opportunity for girls in grades 6 to 12 to get a chance to learn about coding from a local software developer with over 16 years of experience in the industry. Girls Who Code programs work to inspire, educate, and equip girls with the computing skills to pursue 21st century opportunities. Learn how the computers and games you use daily are designed. If you want to see if the club is for you, then just show up for the club meeting on Tuesday, September 27th from 3.15 to 4.30. Bring your computer and a snack. The club meets every th Tuesday until May 16th, 2017. If you are interested in signing up, please stop by the front office. As we told you last week, the Positive Monthly Student Awards are back this year at PHS. During the Junior Class Awards Ceremony that was held past Tuesday, the following juniors were recognized. Anna Height is our first Federal Savings Bank PHS Junior of the Month. She was nominated by Judy Lykowski, our PTV teacher, who says Anna volunteered over the summer to help make a promotional video for the United Ways of Marshall County. Anna's video was shown in the Ample Theater in the park over the summer. Anna is now a student in Ms. Lakowski's second hour interactive media marketing class. Anna has continued volunteering by shooting several events already this school year. Moving on to our next award winner is Lily Broadbelt. She was chosen out of the 103 juniors who had perfect attendance during the month of August. And the last award title goes to junior Winston Carrington. He is selected for showing growth and completing his assignments and his positive behavior in class. Winston was nominated by teachers Dylan Connor and Lisa Mercer, who both say Winston has consistently shown a drive for improvement in both his quality of work and contribution to the classroom. Congratulations to all three junior award winners. Plymouth High School's Jobs for America graduates has a fundraiser on Monday, September 19th at the Ponderosa Restaurant in Plymouth. Ponderosa will donate 10% of the purchases on the benefit night to PHS JAG. However, you must have a printed coupon or ticket in order for the money to go to the organization. Students and staff, please stop by Ms. Sharp's classroom if you would like a copy of the coupon or if you have a printer at home. Please feel free to print off the coupon that we have linked to our PTV website. I'm Hasey Zay. I'm Hasey B. I'm Warren Garcia. I'm Devin Gritton. I'm Nicole with PTV Sports. Stay tuned for details. Here at PHS, we are known for our totally wicked sports and the teams that we have. So be there or be square to witness the boys' tennis team take on the Goshen Red Hawks at 5 o'clock. The freshman volleyball team will go head-to-head -head in an intense game against Warsaw Tigers and CMA at 5 o'clock. And at 5.30, the varsity will follow right after. The boys' soccer team is having a great season. We'll continue this streak by facing Elkhart Memorial at 5.30, right here on PHS territory. The freshman football team will take the leap of faith and go on to challenge the Warsaw Tigers at 5.30 away. Finally, Northridge today doesn't stand a chance, we hope, with our Lady Rockies soccer. So come out and cheer on our girls at 6 p.m. 
Are you an avid fan of bowling or are you a good bowler? If you answered yes, well then you're in luck. Bowling team times will be today in the cafeteria during lunch. Quick Lanes will have a representative here at that time for questions and sign up, so make sure you stop by. Last week, the Rockies traveled all the way to Millbury for NLC's showdown against the North Ridge Raiders. Our very own Ann White made the trip to capture these highlights. Unfortunately, the Rockies suffered a heartbreaking loss, losing 22-14, to ending their 13-year winning streak. This week, however, the Rockies will hope to turn things around. This Friday, the Rockies will be playing at home against the Elkhart Memorial Chargers. This game is sure to be a good one. This Friday, 30 minutes after the football game, there will be a movie shown to benefit Riley's Children's Hospital. Tickets are $5 if you buy them uh, Friday at lunch and $6 if you buy them at the game. Pop, chips, and candy will be sold at the movie. There will be a poll sent out Friday to vote on the movie show, which is between Kicking and Screaming, Waterboy, Napoleon Dynamite, and Benchwarmers. Come on out after the game for a good time and a benefit and a great cause. Last week's PTV Trivia Time question was, What's the longest lake in Indiana? And the answer was Lake Wawasee. The classroom that called in the right answer first was Miss Wiesman's class. Photojournalist Juan Garcia and our PTV crew delivered their sweet prize, a couple bags of donuts. Congratulations to Miss Wiesman and her class on winning the PTV trivia contest, and thank you to all the rooms that were watching and called in as well. Up now, we have our infamous trivia time. This week's question is, how many gold medals did the United States win this year in the Rio Olympics? If you know the answer, you can call in the extension 1241 now. As usual, only students can call, and if you already won this month, you can't call again and win. But if you know the answer, the question is, how many gold medals did the United States win? Now call the extension 1241, and you can win the prize. Oh, yeah, and teachers, we are super pumped that more of you are now firing up your projectors and watching this year. But please allow your students to call in the answer for your class. Who's ready to eat? I am. What's for lunch today? Well, today we're having ravioli with meat sauce, garlic bread sticks, broccoli with cheese, and the fruit and vegetable bar. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Tune in every Thursday for more trivia time, more unbelievable sporting news, and more fresh faces of the PTV crew. I'm Matt Reisner. And I'm Devin Gritton. Have a great day, PHS, and go Rockies!